Hello again everybody and welcome to this video. This piece of artwork is actually mounted to this canvas now and it's not going anywhere. And I thought I'd give you a quick look around it before we jump into the tutorial. And also talk about the materials that I use to actually make this work. One of your main components that you'll need is super heavy gel medium and a spatula summit that you can actually spread the gel on with and that's basically it oh and also your canvas and my canvas is a custom size because it was 70 by 40 but after the paint bled under the tape I had to trim it down where I already had all the stretch bars and stuff and I basically brought the stretcher bars online and they knock together, you combine the size and then this is a small canvas I line around and I stapled it to the back and as you can hear it's as hard as a drum now because that gel's dried as you can see there's no paper left I can't even get my fingernail under there so it turned out great so let's jump straight into the tutorial okay so as you can see I've painted the borders of my canvas white and that's because I wanted it to match the bottom of my painting. I haven't bothered to paint the whole thing in white acrylic because once the paint is actually mounted, you're not going to see the centre of the canvas anyway. I started by applying the gel to the back of the artwork. Now it's up to you whether you actually want to do this. I think I would have been okay just applying it to the canvas, to be honest. And in this situation, I thought more gel the better because I really didn't want this to peel away next what you need to do is to spread that gel medium all over the back of the paper make sure you get the corners and the sides because you don't want this painting to lift away and what's going to happen is that gel medium is going to soak into the back of the watercolor painting and when you feel like that's happening normally when the paper starts to curl take it away, put it to one side and start to work on the canvas. Applying the gel to the canvas is pretty much the same process. You need a nice even coat, you need to get the corners and the sides. You also need to scrape off any excess into the bin. But do keep in mind that you need to work much faster here because the gel on the back of your artwork is already beginning to dry and you don't want that to happen. Next is the last and also the trickiest part of the entire thing and that's applying the artwork to the canvas. What you've got to do is align the top of the artwork with the top of the canvas, press it down, get a dry tissue and go along all the edges. And what you'll notice is that they'll start to curl and that's absolutely fine because you're going to take the canvas, put it face down on a flat surface and put weights all around the edges some old books, anything you can find really and come back in 24 hours and see what you've done okay then guys that's it I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial I will be uploading another video on how to varnish a watercolour because this will now need protecting from the elements if you'd like to see that video please like and subscribe and thank you very much for watching